this is Jill Simonello with Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk and I am currently standing in the back of a Walmart parking lot charging an F-150 Lightning and uh, we've gotten a lot of questions at the channel about how safe I feel as a female charging at night. So let's take a closer look right now. seven o'clock at night and this is the back of a Walmart parking lot in Lafayette, Indiana but I'm gonna tell you it's only seven o'clock at night and there is still a lot of traffic moving in and out of this parking lot so even though it's kind of remote where I'm at I don't feel unsafe um, but <laughs> three hours from now if I were still here I probably not feel as comfortable as I do right now and I'll be honest I brought my husband along for the ride and uh, that always makes me feel a little bit safer now, I am gonna have to charge when I get back into Chicago, and uh, that's gonna be three hours from now, and it is not going to be in the back of a Walmart parking lot. It's going to be in a bank parking lot, and uh, we'll see how I feel then. So, stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, I just wanted to do a quick walk around to give you an overview of what this parking lot looks like. So you see the Walmart in the background, and you have a couple of charging spots um, in a row and there was someone here and then there was somebody there and so you know I wasn't alone charging back out here either and I like the fact that there's a light up there this is a pretty nice bright spot and again right now I feel pretty safe because it's still fairly early but <laughs> the later it gets I'll be honest with you the less safe I would feel now while I have your attention here I want to point to something that's a little bit weird so there was somebody here in this spot and they were using that charging station which by the way had the screen facing this way so when i pulled in i wanted to use this but i couldn't because the person on the other side was so instead i'm using this one with the screen here but that's my vehicle so i can't actually see what um, the percentage is while i'm sitting in the vehicle and furthermore my fingers are so cold right now and this screen is so cold that when I try and tap the screen, it just blings at me, it won't do anything. So <laughs> even if I wanted to stop charging right now, I couldn't. Um, I mean, maybe there's some kind of an emergency cancel button there. I'm, I mean, I'm not feeling terribly pressed, but I can't, I can't press the screen right now if I wanted to stop the charging or cancel or do anything because my fingers are cold, the screen is cold and, um, yeah, so I'm kind of stuck until it boots me off and I couldn't put in my cell phone number so that it would send me text messages to tell me what the update was or when it was getting ready to boot me off. So here we are. <laughs> this is the back of the parking lot and um, uh, yeah, that's that's my charging speed. That's a little bit frustrating. This is a 150 kilowatt hour charger and yeah, annoying. And again, if I wanted to stop this, I couldn't because my hands are too cold. All right, so we are now back in Chicago and as I predicted, it's like three hours later. And uh, ironically, this is like within spitting distance of my old apartment. I literally live just on the other side of that alley right there. And so while I generally feel fairly safe here because this is familiar ground, I'm gonna tell you, there are a lot of places for people to hide here. And um, I definitely feel less comfortable here than I did in Lafayette, Indiana. And I would not come here alone. I, I wouldn't do it. And thankfully there are some other people charging here so that makes me feel pretty good. But if I pulled in and I was the only one, I wouldn't want to get out of my car. I, I wouldn't do it. And um, maybe if I was with my husband, I would feel a little bit comfortable. But again, this, even though I'm familiar with the area and again, within spitting distance, wouldn't feel comfortable. There, there is no attendant who would come to my rescue or at least be a witness if anything went wrong. And I know from personal experience, even though there's a camera, it may not be a good camera and it may not capture whatever happens. So, um, nope, charging at night, wouldn't do it. Not in the city of Chicago. Maybe I'd go back to the Walmart in Lafayette, but definitely wouldn't do it here. Now, I know we only went through two chargers at night, one of them in Chicago, one in Lafayette, Indiana, but 
I'm going to do a quick exercise here. So one of the great things about the um, navigation system in the F-150 is it allows you to select chargers and it'll show you where all the chargers are nearby. Now, obviously I'm at this one right here at Electrify America, um, which is at the Bank of America. And it will also tell you where the other nearby chargers are. Now I'm gonna tell you the Berman Nissan, the Walgreens, you know, those are gonna be, well, that's gonna be Chatmo, but um, these are gonna be um, different, like lower voltages or lower kilowatts. And it you can see here that it allows you to Select fast, um, you can do like ultra fast, fast, or you know, just regular. So, if you do that, then that shows you all the basically essentially the level two chargers. Then, here you're gonna have things that are a little bit faster, but not super fast. And then, this is going to be your ultra fast, which is 100 plus kilowatts. And this is 150 watt or 150 kilowatts is how it can accept the charge. So, frankly, that's what we want. And all we have are Electrify Americas. So this one is where we're at. And then as I look down the list, okay, this Electrify America is near the old Cabrini Green area. It's going to be in a Target parking lot garage. Wouldn't go there at night. Definitely not. This is going to be in Electrify America at again at another Target. Also going to be in a parking garage. Wouldn't feel comfortable with that. Then we have to go to the suburbs if we want another Electrify America charging station. And, um, you know, this is going to be, I think that's at the Lincolnwood Town Center. That's going to, be, which, okay, maybe I would do that at night in a pinch, 5.3 miles away. Um, I'd feel probably a little bit more comfortable with that than I would going to another bank parking lot or a Target in a garage. So, um, and yeah, and that's going to be more on the south side, the 33rd Street. So not going to feel good about that either. So, uh, yeah. That that about sums up how I feel about charging at night. I could do it in a pinch. I would definitely bring my husband with me. Um, but um, yeah, if I didn't if I if I had a choice, I I wouldn't do it. All right, so that closes out my very quick look at charging at night as a woman. Um, and I never thought I would feel uncomfortable doing anything, but for me, it's one of those things where I just try not to put myself in a situation that doesn't feel right. And this, this just doesn't feel great to me. And so I would try never to put myself in a situation where I would have to charge at night. Now, obviously taking a road trip, you don't have that much of a choice, but for me, I would have an at-home charger and that's where I would be doing most of my charging. And then if I were going to be taking a road trip, I would try to make sure that I was in an open space near a public area, well lighted. Um, Cause again, you don't have an attendant. Uh, otherwise I would try and make sure I was planning my charging so that it was during daylight hours. I just, I'm just not a risk taker that way. Call me silly. So how do I feel about charging at, at night? Generally, not good. Yeah, that's what I have to say about that. So thanks for watching. Follow us on the web at pickuptrucktalk.com and I will see you down the road.